Hello everybody and welcome back to Barrow Hill. This is part five. First off, thank you for all your comments, hits and tips. Keep them coming. They are really getting me through this game, to be honest. So, right, where are we going to go? I think we're going to go to the motel room to start off with. I've got the, the number, the code for hotel, uh, the motel room three, I think, from the PDA. Yep, he's staying at room three and the code is 271. Right, so let's go through the hole again. Go around through the fence and head over to the other side of the petrol station to the motel. Here we go. So it should be the first one on my right. Yep, that's motel room three and the code is 271. It works. All right, let's go. Oh, alrighty then. And this is Conrad Morse's motel room. So presumably he was the one who did all this. Wow. Lots of drawings, lots of doodling. Lots of writing on the wall. Because he didn't have enough paper, I guess. Ah, oh, check this out. They are the symbols that were on Anik as well, I'm fairly sure. They're very, very similar anyway. Can I have a look at any of this? Uh, okay. Try and figure out what some of these are, I guess. That kind of looks like it could be a tree. With that, that being a leaf. A couple of leaves down here, maybe not. Is it the Deku tree? Possibly. Wow. Some sort of... That looks like a giant claw coming out of the ground. And is that a... A foot? There's a big toe? Okay, that could be a foot with a, the side cut out or something. I'm not really sure, honestly. Okay, I can look at the sink for some reason, but I can't do anything with it for... No reason whatsoever, so whatever. Um, okay, to the right, there's even more drawings. No idea what that is. This, uh, again, not really sure. It kind of looks like an antler or something, but I'm not not certain. This, oh, he's used colour this time. Wow. Uh, what is that? Some <laughs> A stick man getting crushed by a hot dog. I really have no idea. Can't use his jumpers and jackets and stuff like that. Fair enough. Hang on. Ah, I can look in the mirror. That seems a little bit daft, because I could just do that, but whatever. Right. The hell's down there? Hold on a mo, hold on a mo. For some reason he's got a piece of paper clamped down under his toilet seat. He sees us as vermin. A, de a disease now eating away creation. His country. Like a plague. We rip the goodness from the earth and replace it with the excrement of our existence. September the 15th. Why must I suffer these fools? Why must he hunger beneath? Archaeology is not about destruction. The idiots who call themselves protesters are damaging what we seek to understand. The science and knowledge we uncover is vital for the future. To understand and appreciate is a gift these vandals lack in the newfound expressions of self-invented worth. The sentries guard his resting place, honoured over time, to please him. Yet forgotten, now they stand alone, decaying, forgotten and clouded in myth, with no purpose. An age has passed since they judged the offerings. I will honour him. What am I saying? I'm a man of science. Yet to understand, one must explore the possibilities. Myth and legend often stem from a truth. True tales told over time become the fables we hear today. That is true. That is true. Alright, that is the only page down there for some reason. Maybe the rest of it went down into the toilet. He just forgot to flush that bit. I'm not really sure. There's some more down here though. Okay, let's have a look at this. Some sort of timeline from Dark Ages to the Mesolithic Mid-Stone Age, 5000 BC. Wow. Oh, these are where different sites uh, sort of appeared, or where they were sort of, um, when they were built. So round barrows around the, brown, uh, the Bronze Age, I see. Okay, what's this? There's something behind it. Mapping grade GPS system, handheld units, remote cameras, and Bluetooth PDA, and a rapid charger. Well, I've, I've seen the charger, and I think that's the PDA I've got. Um, haven't seen a GPS system, and the cameras, they're up, up near the Barrow Hill site, which I can't get to as of yet, because there's a big stone blocking the way. Although, if the stone from Barrow Hill came down to kill the dog, and maybe Emma Harry, maybe it's gone. Maybe I can explore the forest now. I might try that later. Anyway, is there any more? No. Another page. Oh, it seems I've done them out of order, so going back in time are like five days. September the 10th. 
Why don't we listen? The message was left embedded in our very souls. He was one of many, and those like him feel the pain we inflict. Taking what was once good and pure and miraculous, we abuse it, and the trust he granted us. The soil is rich with energy. The lines are clear to me. The seal is cracking. The future open. I see... what am I saying? In fever, I write drivel that makes no sense. If it were not my handwriting and my own hand which holds the pen, I would never believe it. <laughs> this guy is losing it. September the 11th. He lays waiting, watching us in the forgotten cage that has become his prison. His temple was forgotten. Soon he will send forth his hounds and begin the hunt again. And a day forward in September the 12th. The geophysical survey has arrived. It is a fabulous development in the archaeological toolkit. To be able to create an image through the ground beneath our feet by com uh, compositing all the data taken by magnetic and radio probing of the very earth we are to ex excavate. <gasps> Blimey. The imagery will take some time to interpret, but I have no doubt that secrets lay hidden amongst this digital mess. What lies beneath the barrow still remains to be discovered. Ooh, very nice. I presume he's talking about one of these like little tools down here. Oh, well then. Uh, what has he actually written here? Stop me. Lands will cleared. Something like that. I'd, I am his servant, I think's down there. Alright, there's a couple more drawings. So, um... Well, these definitely look like antlers to me. So maybe the other drawing was antlers as well. What's this? Mm, no, that kind of looks like the end of the claw, but this bit? No idea. I see. I didn't even notice that before. He's actually got... If the black bar went away, you can actually see some... Some drawings on the floor, too. Right, let's go forward a little bit. Okay. Uh, what shall I examine first? I guess let's go to the desk, shall we? Ah, right. Briefcase. I have no idea what the combination would be. Three digits, four digits. It's possible to guess. Six is unbelievably unlikely. So, I'm mm, going to leave that one alone, to be honest. Right, what's up here? Okay, we got some... What is that? It looks like pottery or something. Maybe he found that at the barrow. It looks like underneath this hat, there's some more of... The, the notes that were kind of burnt and the ones I just read. But for some reason I can't, like, use it. So maybe... No, that looks out the window. That ain't good. Uh... Ah! Nope, still can't use it. Can I use the drawers? Ah, yes I can. What's in here? Nothing. Second one. Uh... Take? No, I just close it. Some clothes. Clothes and sheets and stuff. And I probably can't access that one down the bottom. No. All right. Well, uh, yeah, that's been tipped to its side for some reason. Probably took that off so he could make room for more more writing. Why have we burnt the lad? No. Why have we burnt the land? He's missed the end. Why have we burnt? Why have we burnt the land? Drivel. Complete drivel. Uh, what's to the right over here? There's some more of this pottery. It looks like and a tennis ball. And a coffee, and something there. Samples. Soil samples. Something samples. Kind oh, of looks like soil or mud. Alright, what about the drawers? Ah! Aha, what's in here? Oh, yes! Dye and a flashlight! No, that's a... No, I have no idea that is. An EpiPen or something? I'm not sure. A Yanyo. Very nice. How do we turn this on? July 28th. Ah. Progress with the dig goes well, despite the recent arrival of protesters. They have been causing havoc in the night, stealing and breaking much of our equipment. Strangely, they decided not to touch the one already broken thing. That laughable GPS unit. <sighs> I have fixed up some wireless cameras and configured my PDA, allowing me to easily watch the dig site. Now that we have verified the stones have been standing for such a long time, I'm looking forward to uncovering what lies forgotten. That's the end of the audio log, is it? That was uh, 01. Is there a 02? September 21st. Yes. I returned to the trench in the barrow this evening, out of the prying eyes of my assistant. I knew today that we had excavated within layers of something. I dug further and found two artifact fragments at the bottom of the trench. And the voices, the voices of my nightmares in my mind. I have taken the artifacts, pieces of a seal, a key, and hidden them away. 
no one will find them now. <laughs> I have scattered them. The voices told me no one will know what they are or where they came from. That nearby ruin continues to sink into the swamp. One of those artifacts will be very well hidden. <laughs> okay, the three? What is going on? I found myself standing by the altar stone. Pages of my study notes scattered around me. Charred, ruined. How can this be? I no longer feel in my right mind. I have hidden one of the artifact fragments close by under my own watchful gaze. Why am I compelled to do these things? What force is driving me? I feel as though I've lost control. I made a note of the artifact's position before my mind fully cleared and I forgot once more. Right, so he found an artifact. He's, he's hidden it close by. Uh, is there a four to tell me where that is? I yes! Woke as if from a daydream, yet it was nightmarish. In my hand were pages of gibberish and strange scribbled drawings. The stones call to me, and yet I can't hear the words clearly. What is it they need? What offerings do they ask me to bring them? <laughs> the stones require offerings, apparently. Okay. Five? It's alive and watching it seize all. It slumbered for centuries, waiting to be awoken once more to judge. A sentinel from ancient times. The stones are its guardians and protectors. The broken key, the seal I removed. Now the sentry begins the hunt. What have I done? What have I done? July 28th. Okay, there's no six then, just the five. Well, despite the recent arrival right, well, there, there was his descent into madness in audio form, I suppose. Um, if I can't pick up the pen or anything else, I can't take that with me. Okay, fair enough. What about the drawer below it? Can I use that? Nope, apparently not. Okay, well, um, that could be everything. I mean, is there anything on this wall? No, it doesn't look like it. Just more of these symbols. What's on the bed? Ah. Bollawall Barrow before restoration. Bollawall Barrow. Right, some sort of references, I guess, to other barrows. Okay. This? Brain Barrow. Yeah, I think he's just got different examples. Beehive huts, sure. And another beehive hut over here. Okay. Don't know if that's going to come in handy or not, but sure. Just leave that there. Is there anything else? Nope. He watches his slumber, or we watches his slumber. Ancient longs, langs. So, uh, handwriting. Right, okay. He's got some more drawings here then. Okay. Uh, oh, I've already looked at that one, haven't I? That's kind of creepy. It's like an owl with a monster's face or something. Or a tree come to life. I'm not sure. This? slightly more detailed version of what looked to be a claw. I'm fairly certain that is a claw, actually, now. Um, uh, I don't know. I really don't know. A tonsil. <laughs> An acorn with some writing on it. I, mm, very strange. Oh, hang on. Look, under the pillow. Under the pillow over here. Oh, wait. There's more stuff on the floor. And some other stuff there. Hang on, there's some stuff here. September the 21st. I have it. I have uncovered the seal. It is shattered in fragments. The bronze is muddied and dull, but the pattern is clear. No one should have it. With the artifact removed from the barrow, he will be free once more. No one will be left. We will all be judged. It is too late. We have forgotten the offerings and now his hunters gather, closing in for the final judgement. I fight the calling. The whispers call me up the hill. What have I done? The madness burns inside my mind. I have dishonoured him. I believed I was performing a great task, but it has now been revealed as pure folly. The two pieces of the broken seal are now scattered about the hill, and without them he will not rest again. I hid one of the two artifact fragments here at the service station. Ah. Should it be needed, I made a note of the position. It is the one and only place that GPS device appears to work. 2778.446 by 7854.445. Damn device. Even these coordinates are hopelessly inaccurate. At least the stupid machine is consistent. If only I could understand what was needed to heal the pain, to complete the ceremony. What could the offerings be? 
Can my research shed light on the dark task? I fear the knowledge may have been lost centuries ago. There is no hope. I must get away. I must get away now. The hunter is coming. The master's servant deals death and destruction. The woods are not safe. I must leave the hill before it's too late. <laughs> okay. Uh, a lot of you found it rather amusing that it was in fact a rock or a stone that was going around killing people. And I've got to be honest, I'm with you on that one. Uh, it is laughably bad in a strange way, but I'm very pleased that that is the case. You wouldn't find that in a AAA title. What's this? Oh Christ, Midwin <laughs> Midwinter Sun and Moon. Oh my goodness. This is reminding me a lot of uh, the end of Darkness Within 1. There was a terrible, well it wasn't a terrible puzzle, it was just a very difficult puzzle related to lunar months and stuff like that. And oh Christ, please do not repeat this process. <laughs> I don't want to do another puzzle like that, it was so annoying. I had to go back through half the game and watch my own videos and read loads of books and shit. God damn. Okay. Uh, yeah, there, there's something else. I can look in his shoe. Or not. There's something in the bin. Ah, okay. I've got pieces of something. I'm going to have to play Jigsaw now, I suppose. Uh, right. So what have I got? I've got seven pieces here. Um, a solution, my... My briefcase? Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. I think I've got it, actually. My briefcase combination code is now reset. I've used... Uh, I've used something. I've used... A solution? There's, there's an N. A right, yes, okay. My briefcase combination code is now reset. I've used a solution that can be found on my Jeep's number plate. Oh, that's why the guy in the comments, I can't remember your name right now, but that's why the guy in the comments said you should go and remember that. It's very important. This must be why. The briefcase combination, that's what I'm missing. And it's... It's the number plate. Okay, well, let's just go straight there, I think. I'll come back in a moment. And through here, just click, click, click. <laughs> All the way down the road. Here we go. 4x6... No, wait, this isn't... It's six digits, right? So, unless it's 4685... Does that actually mean, mean four times 6,000... No. 68,578, really? So, it'd be like 260... 270, something like that. Okay, I've got a calculator around here. I'm sure I could do that. Where is... There we go, I found one use my phone, I guess, but here we go. So, right. Two, seven, four, three, one, two. It's a six digit number that could be the answer, to be honest. Okay, right. I'm going to go back, test that out. If not, I guess I'll try four, six, eight, five, seven, eight, but it's got to be one of those, I assume. Keep going. It's bloody awkward to get in this place. So we go in here. Oh shit. 271, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so briefcase combination. Let's do it. So 274. Uh, 274. 312. Yep. Yep. Nice. Okay, so yeah. Good, good thing I've got a calculator, really, otherwise that might have taken two or three minutes, honestly. Right, so inside uh, we've got a few documents. We've got a few letters, I think. What's this? It's a letter. I'm not going to read this one. I'm losing my voice again. It's happening frequently, playing this game. Okay, uh, let's see. We've got... Barrow Hill Excavation Scientific Report as well. Preliminary, preliminary findings in trenches 1 to 8. And a little post-it note on the front that says, Please find attached preliminary scientific report on the soil samples you sent us. From Lucy. Okay. Again, I'm not going to be reading this one, although I might just skim it. It seems kind of easy to read. So it's basically everything they found uh, in the trenches. And we know about the trenches and where they are because of um, P-1 
Pete's journal. So in three, they found bone fragment. And four, they found seeds and spores. Five, um, hordium vulgari. Oh, commonly known as barley. They found barley in five. Okay. Sodium chloride in six, which is like that's salt. Maybe that's why I could use the salt. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Right. Okay. Seven. Nothing in seven. I've just been exposed to a lot of moisture. Eight. More bo more bone fragments and charcoal. Um, ritual activity or funeral practices. Okay. Uh, well, that's the end. I'm going to read that in greater detail later. Um, that's enough of that. So that's that and that. What's this? Oh, okay. we got some photos. Right. Oh, right. Okay. A reconstruction of the uh, Barrow Hill in the Bronze Age. Approximately... 2400 BC. So which one of those buggers killed that dog? Alright, next up we got the Geophysical Magnetrometry Survey showing uh, Barrow Hill, Stone Circle, and Barrow. Each of those being one of the stones. There's seven of them, so wow, okay. Ah, uh, right. Clearly that information was very, very important. Hmm. I wonder if I should go and have a look at that salt again. I think I'm going to need that salt. Okay, is there anything else I can do in here? Realistically, is there anything else? Let's see. Hmm. Can have a look at the shower. For no reason. <laughs> oh, dear. Hmm, 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 hmm. Tell you what, let's try Emma Harry again, shall we? It's not... I'm not absolutely sure that she's dead yet. Uh, what was the number? I wrote it, wrote it down somewhere. 585 It's ringing. It was ringing. <laughs> I swear it was ringing. Okay, she's not available to pick up the phone right now. But now I think about it, there were a couple of other numbers um, attached to the notice board for like Babs Cabs and... Some guy that sells pasties and stuff. Don't know if this going to have any effect on the game, but I might try and give him a call. Talk to Ben as well. No, oh. no, don't see me. Stop looking. I'm not here. No. 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 Help. Oh, no. Oh, no. What the hell? The stone got another one. How in the hell did that happen? I heard a smash. It, like the, st <laughs> the stone jumped through the window and got him. Why is there no handle on this side? Seriously. That's so annoying. Ah, shit. Um, hang on. If I go around the back where I started, I could I could look through the window. Let's try that again. So it's this way, keep going to the bins. Didn't work the first time, it's certainly not working the second time. Ah, oh shit, didn't just thrash, smash through the window, it went through the fucking wall. Whoa. Guys, I'm going to end the video here. Join me in part six. We'll investigate the office and see what... Oh, I, I see what happened to Ben, actually. He's dead. So we won't find out what happened to Ben, because Ben's dead. But uh, we'll explore the office. <laughs>